Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We have the Four of Wands. The King of Cups. The Page of Wands. The Strength. The Eight or the Seven of Pentacles. And the Hangman. And we got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck for their general overall energy towards you. There is definitely someone here who is very, very attracted to you. I feel like somebody's gonna come on very, very strong, very, very fast, going very, very hard. Like I feel like they're just really, like really actively pursuing you. Okay. That's what this is, feels like to me. Uh the Queen of Wands, like very attracted to you, feel a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of uh physical attraction here okay they see you as the four of wands so they could see you as you know kind of everything that they want the four of wands to me can be a card of like reaching a goal a finish line an accomplishment a celebration stepping into a new chapter um, so they could feel like you really have yourself together they could feel like you are accomplishing a lot or they could just see you as like what their end goal looks like the kind of person that they want to um, be with here they have the king of cups in their heart space so you know, I definitely feel like somebody has feelings for you or will, you know, have deep feelings for you. They have the page of wands as their intentions. So I'm wanting to take a step towards you. There's a lot of curiosity. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of excitement. Um, it looks nice. This person could be a little bit younger than you, Virgo, but they don't have to be. But for some of you guys, they definitely could be. You got the strength card as a challenge. Some of you guys, I feel like it's just resisting. I'm going to be honest. For some of you guys, there's something about this person. Now, some of you guys, this could be, you could be married, okay? I'm, I'm getting a couple of different messages. For some of you guys, I feel like you could be married. That four of wands can talk about marriage as well. So this person could feel like, you know, some of you guys could be married or in a commitment or have a live-in partner or something of that nature, okay? And they could see that, but they're still actively wanting to pursue you. They still are very interested in you. Um, the strength card here, you know, you could be trying to hold back, but I feel like you could be having a hard time with that. The seven of pentacles, like this person's kind of just waiting on you to kind of give in. Uh, or waiting on you to leave that situation for some of you guys. Um, but the hangman, it just feels like a lot of waiting here. And I feel like that's because I, I do feel like they're waiting on you here to make a decision. Now, for those of you where you're not in a commitment, um, it could definitely be something here like with the age difference. Or there's something here where they feel like they're not quite what you're... So even though they see you as what they want, they could feel like there's something about them that you're unsure about. But I do feel like this person is developing feelings for you. I don't feel like it's just physical. Um, with that king of cuffs in the heart space, I do feel like this is, it's more than just physical. Although there is a strong physical desire here, I feel like it's more than that. Um, some of you guys are having a hard time resisting this. We have the tower. I would be cautious, okay? Because it does look like we have the tower, we have the moon. Definitely could be secrets. Um, become very hard to, you know, carry. Okay, um, with that moon card, trying to keep things hidden, 
got the tower. So I definitely feel like this could be something, and some of you guys, this could just be things that you're worried about. You know, maybe that's why you're so hesitant to open up to this. Um, some of you guys where it's the age thing, it's just like, I feel like you're hesitant, you know, you're feeling like somebody may not be, you know, wanting to settle down or not wanting the same things that you do. Some of you guys, it's somebody in the workplace. Okay. As well, it's like you're trying, it's like just trying to keep things under wraps. I feel like there's a lot of fear here of something kind of exploding or, you know, working out very badly here with that tower energy. I feel like that's why you're so indecisive. You got the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, very conflicted. Yeah, it's because with the Sun card, even though this person makes you feel good, I feel like you know that if this came out into the open with the Sun and the Five of Wands, it could create a lot of conflict. It could create a lot of drama um, in your life here for whatever reason, okay? Whether it's because you work together, you're in a con commitment, they're in a commitment, you know, there's an age difference. You're just worried about whatever conflict or drama um, you're perceiving that this could bring to you. I feel like spirit is wanting to prepare you. I feel like this person is going to be actively pursuing you. Okay, I don't feel like they're going to give up here. I feel like they're going to, uh, they may just get into a space where they're kind of just waiting, waiting for you, like pursuing you and waiting, pursuing you and waiting. Um, the signs I'm seeing, we have all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any, okay? But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.